Hi everyone, this is a video tutorial for the reaction of an epoxide happening under acidic conditions. So when we're under acidic conditions, it sounds kind of silly, but we're going to say that it's SN2-ish. So what happens is we have our epoxide and we have an acid and then our attacking nucleophile. And what we'll see is that the nucleophile is going to attack the more substituted carbon. So there's still an attack where a nucleophile comes and then breaks the bond. The strange part, though, is that the nucleophile usually prefers to hit the less hindered carbon, but in this case we're going to hit the more hindered carbon. So let's take a look at the mechanism to see why that happens. Okay, so let's take a look at the mechanism. So over here we have our epoxide and an acid. So now, whenever we have oxygen in an acidic solution, it's going to take its lone pairs, attack the hydrogen, and in this case, kick the chlorine off. So what we'll form then is a protonated epoxide. So now, to understand why this methanol group is coming and attacking this carbon, let's take a look at the transition state. So over here on the transition state, because O is positively charged based on Lewis dot formal charges, and because it's in a three-membered ring, it's experiencing a lot of strain. So what it's going to do to ease up that strain is to have one of its bonds partially break. So it's got this kind of partially broken bond happening with one of these two carbons. So now we have two options. It could either be a little bit broken on this side. And when I say broken, it means oxygen is taking its electrons and leaving. So if it's taking its electrons, we're going to develop this partially positive charge. So now if it happened on this carbon, that's a primary carbon. So we'd have a primary carbocation-like transition state. Over here, if it happened on this carbon, we'd have a tertiary carbocation-like transition state. The tertiary carbocation is much more stable, so that means we're going to have this bond starting to break here, meaning that carbon is bearing a pretty significant partial charge sitting on it. That partial charge would be very, very attractive to a nucleophile coming in. So if we look back at the mechanism then, that's going to explain why the methanol is going to preferentially attack this carbon right here. So when it attacks here, it's going to cause this bond to break the rest of the way, and we're going to get this compound out. The final step will be some unspecified base comes and pulls off the hydrogen, giving the oxygen its electrons to get rid of that positive formal charge sitting on it. And so our final product looks like this.